Oh hi, I'm Rob, and I am exceedingly yellow right now because I'm out in the garage working on the snowblower again. I can't imagine that ever happening. Uh, I got the new carburetor in, and I want to replace the carburetor because this thing is just not wanting to start. So that's what I'm planning on doing tonight. Um, let's go. Now you'll remember that I had this off last time when I was trying to clean the carburetor. So I'll just repeat that. What I have here is the replacement carburetor. I mean, it's the same carburetor that goes on here. So I need to remove the choke parts here. I need to remove it from the intake. And I also need to remove this bracket and put it on over here. So I guess it comes time to be doing stuff, huh? All right, in theory, this shouldn't be held on by anything. Oh, and it works in practice too. Okay, now there are some things to to take care of here, and I'm I'm going to have to find a better <laughs> a better angle to get at as well. So, yay. So there are a few things still holding the carburetor on. One is the throttle linkage, which is right here. Now you notice which hole it goes into uh, because this also has the same plate and you want to make sure it goes back into the same hole. In this case it's the one that is that one right there. So we want to remember that. Uh, the other parts there is the, uh, fuel, the bowl fill hose which goes to the primer and then the actual gas line which is on the back side. So I'm gonna try and remove all those and get it to a place where I can take this out. First of all I'm gonna remove this hose because that's the easiest. Yeah, I'm just looking at how the fuel line is attached and it's got this barb connector on it. Uh, and that has got a clamp. So we need to squeeze the clamp to remove it. Yeah, Alright, let me try and unhook this throttle lever first. Alright, it's really difficult to see. This is a sort of top-down view. I can't get it without getting in the light, but there is a hose clamp here that's holding on the fuel line. I'm going to try and take that off first because I think being able to more freely rotate the carburetor is going to make it easier to get off that throttle linkage. Come on. Let me see how you are. Come on. There we go. Yeah. You can see this jog. Well, I guess you can't see it from there. I'll have to show it to you later. But now, all we have left holding this on 
is the fuel line. And we gotta try and pull it off the fuel line. While well, twisting. <clears throat> Now I will say the potential of me having to replace this fuel line is pretty decent, but that seems to have worked pretty well. Oh yeah, one other thing to make sure of is that you turn the, the gas off before you uh, disconnect this. So there, the carburetor is disconnected and we're ready to put on the replacement. One thing I want to do is make sure that I get this gasket off and that the surface of the intake is clean because uh, this is the old gasket. You generally don't want to reuse these unless you have no other option. Luckily, the carburetor kit comes with a replacement gasket. Installation is, of course, the reverse of replacement or uh, removal. So we'll start with putting the gas line back on. Remember, we want to go back in that corner hole. That uh, went on so much easier than it came off. Make sure the new gasket is in. Oop. I'm trying not to drop it on the floor. This one on the back is tricky because you can't really see it, so you have to kind of do it by feel.
we'll hook up the little primer tube. And reattach the choke mechanism. The choke actuator. go. I'm going to make sure that they're not cross-threaded. I want to tighten these down a little bit more. I need to find my other screwdriver. All right, we should be good to go. I think I will uh, try and start it up and see how it goes. All right, if I did everything correctly, this should start right up. <laughs> Anybody want to take bets? All right, choke is on, throttle is up, prime. Yeah. All right, that was a much needed success. I've been having a lot of difficulties the past few days with things not working and uh, this worked first time I am pretty happy with that so uh, I think it was well worth doing a little bit of difficulty but you know since when don't I run into a little bit of difficulty doing things okay I think that's it for the snowblower I'm gonna put the uh, the shroud back on and uh, I think tomorrow I will probably do some snow blowing because I was going to do some tonight but I couldn't get the snowblower started so, <laughs> all right, it's working, uh, feeling pretty good, and I will see you guys next week.